Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, we're going to cover Google's announcement about Google Signals and Google Analytics. You may have seen this email pop up in your inbox. It says that Google Signals will be removed from the reporting identity on February 12, 2024. So what does this mean and how is it going to affect our reports? Well, that's what we'll cover in a moment. Before we do though, I want to briefly mention that this is impacting all Google Analytics accounts. It's not just your account, it is every account that's running Google Analytics. So let's talk about Google Signals in some more detail. To do that, let me open up my demo property. Now, in terms of where to find the Google Signal setting, you can find it by selecting Data Collection and Modification and then Data Collection. And at the top here, we can see that Google Signals Data Collection is enabled in my demo property. So this means I am using this feature in my demo property. Now, there are a number of reasons why you would want this enabled. Uh, first of all, it does allow you to pull in audience lists that you create inside Google Analytics into your linked Google Ads account. Um, so that's one reason if you are running Google Ads campaigns for targeting reasons, you may have this enabled already. The other reason though, is also to make use of the demographic reports inside Google Analytics. So if you want to see um, dimensions like age and gender, you will need um, Google Signals enabled in Google Analytics to make use of those dimensions in your reports as well. So it's quite normal to have this enabled inside your Google Analytics property. The thing that has popped up though, a new option is this one down the bottom here, which says include Google Signals in reporting identity. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. Before we do, I just wanted to click on data display and then reporting identity. This is really what the announcement is impacting. And I'm just going to click show all. So we can see in terms of the reporting identity, we can choose between blended, observed and device based. Basically, the reporting identity controls how users are identified in your report. So how Google Analytics understands people as they come back to your website. So if we select the arrow on the right of blended, we can see first of all, it uses user ID. So if people log in on your website and app and you've adjusted your implementation to actually capture that ID, that identifier, then that will be used by Google Analytics to tie that individual's sessions together as a unique user inside your reports. The second option is Google Signals, and this is what's actually going to be going away in February next year. We can see it says it uses information from users who are signed into Google and who have consented to sharing this information. So basically, if people are logged in to say their Gmail account, or another Google account, and they've opted to share this data, then Google Analytics can use that anonymous data to understand them as they actually travel on your website across different devices. So that's what's going to be going away. The other ones, so user ID, device ID, and modeling, um, if you are sending the simplified hit to Google Analytics, all of those will still be available in Google Analytics in terms of understanding the number of users, new users and returning users, of course, coming through to your website. So coming back to the announcement, we can actually see it says here, you can preview how this change will impact um, your reports. Um, so let's look at how we can do this. This is basically the setting we saw at the start. So if we click on data collection modification, select data collection, what we can do is we can simply disable this option here. And this is going to show us in our reports what we can expect um, from February. So what you can actually do is you can switch that off. You can actually travel into your reports, check out your reports. And if you, for whatever reason, need to switch it back on, you can certainly do that. And um, then you can see what's happening inside your reports. Now, I also want to mention one way to test this out is to actually create an exploration report. So if we actually head into explore, I've just switched into the Google demo uh, property, by the way, I can then create a new report and I'm going to select the pre-configured template for segment overlap. And what this does, is it allows us to actually create different segments and see if people are included in both segments. So this is one option that you can do to actually understand how this will impact your reports along with the setting that we just looked at. So what we can see here in the template, we automatically have mobile and tablet traffic. So I can remove the age bracket uh, segment and I'm going to create a new segment by clicking on the plus sign. A user segment is what I'm going to create. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call it desktop traffic. 
and then we can add in our conditions. So these are the dimensions we use to include people in our uh, segment. So I'm going to, for this one, do device category. And now I'm going to add a filter, uh, exactly matches, and I'm going to say desktop. And I can apply that. So now I can save it. Um, so this gives us an indication of people who are included in multiple segments. So we can see on Google's demo property that we're really only talking about small numbers. We're talking about compared to the overall. So we can see in terms of overall desktop traffic, over 35,000 users, over 34,000 users on mobile. And that's these ones where people cross between devices. So mobile and desktop traffic is what we're going to impact. Now, what I encourage you to do is create this report and then adjust that setting that we saw in my demo property to see if that actually creates any impact in the report. If it doesn't have any impact on the metrics here, then you know that come next year, you're going to be fine when Google makes this adjustment to the reporting identity by removing the Google signals option. Um, so this is what we can actually do to test this out. And the other thing I just also wanted to mention is that by having Google Signals enabled, um, even though this will be removed from the reporting identity, you'll still be able to make use of the demographic uh, reports in Google Analytics. So if we head back to the demo property, come into the standard reports this time, all of the demographics, so under user attributes, if you go into demographic details, even after this change occurs next year, you'll still be able to report on things like um, age, gender, and interests directly inside Google Analytics. So that's what the change is about. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And I just wanted to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.